Okay guys, this is something I just got today. This is the Screen Caddy Screen Top Shelf Space Saver. This is of course part of the as seen on my TV. Um uh, how do I put it? The as seen in it's part of the as seen on TV uh displays that you find in the middle, in the front of the store, when you get ready to check out, or you come in, or you know, in certain parts of the store, and uh, excuse me there. Yeah, I looked this up online just to make sure it's good to go, and Amazon gave it f almost five stars, a five star rating. So that's pretty good. Uh, YouTube does have some videos on it. Uh, but basically, this allows you without any tools, except for, um, I guess, easy to adjust with just one knob, uh, tightening and all that. Easy non-grip, non-slip grips, easy to install, no tools, and of course, made in Taiwan. And uh, basically... What this is meant to do, and I guess you can get more than just one, maybe I'll look into that down the line, is you can place this on your TV or your monitors, depending, like if I wanted to, I could probably place it up here if I wanted to, but mostly it's going to go over there. And as you're wondering, I'm watching uh, just Alex, Delex, formerly Delex Man, uh, latest live stream he did today. Uh, but anyway, this thing apparently holds up to five pounds. ABS material, sturdy and durable. It's easy. All right. Uh, but basically, this looks like it's a good device. And uh, apparently, it shows you what it can do. And I think the reason they're bringing these around of these have been developed uh, by Screen Caddy, that is, is... You gotta remember when we um, used to have the big bulky TVs like the one I used to have, which is in the garage now, the flat screen tube TVs or tube TVs period, you used to have that space on top where you can put like your VCR or whatever. Well, now I guess they're coming up with a solution to try to bring that back when it comes to the flat screen stuff. So I'm going to try to see how this works, put this together and I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is. It comes with an instruction manual, of course. And uh, inside it's just a bunch of styrofoam. But here it is. So let's open this up and see what it looks like. Okay, so here's the instruction manual for it, I guess. Okay. And then here it is right here. Feels sturdy. So it looks good. We and the legs definitely look like the strong, very wide, not thin, so that's pretty good. So um, let's see what this thing how this thing works. Okay, so that's what it looks like on the thing. We'll look on the back here. We'll zoom out a little bit. So zoom out a bit. It looks like it's uh, fitting well. I think it's a little leaning, but it's okay. We can probably fix that. So, I'm going to try to see what else. Okay, so that's the best I can really do. Um, it did clean this up a little bit. Uh, I do have my switcher now, where it's not leaning, it's just flat, and my HDMI switcher, my four-way HDMI switcher. And so I have my root go that used to be like right here, it's now right here, and my, uh, my uh, cable box for Xfinity um, on top of the thing. So it does seem to be doing its job, it just got a little dusty because I was moving some of the stuff around. So... Uh, yeah, you know, apparently that's the, you know, the only disadvantage with this kind of stuff is, you know, you know, you gotta, 
be careful with it. But yeah, it looks like it's doing its job. The only thing is I can't lay this. I can't lay this flat down, so just doing it like that kind of helps out a little bit. kind of actually works out because it balances right to the edge where it needs to be. But yeah, so far it looks like it's doing a good job. I just got to... Yeah, I think it's good where it's at. It's just, uh, you know, some of the things need to be flattened a little bit more, but even now, but it looks like it's doing, but it looks like it's definitely doing its job as advertised. So, yeah, uh, I would recommend getting it. Uh, maybe getting two, depending on, you know, how big your TV is and just going from there. So, yeah, it looks like it's doing good. And if anything does happen, I will let you guys know. Um, you know, is it, is it perfect? No. Matter of fact, hold on for a second. I think something's missing. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Zoom out a little bit, get a clear picture. Yeah, there we go. I just had to put the plug back into that. It's actually a charger for it, but I'd rather just keep it plugged in. Um, yeah, but everything else seems to be okay. But like I said, everything seems to be good. Everything's a little bit more flattened, a little bit more, a little bit more organized. Not really much considering all this. Uh, but it does look a little bit better. Like I said, the Ruko used to be down here. So now I have a straight shot at it you know, down the line, anytime I use it, and everything else seems to be okay, it's just a step-by-step -step measure, you know, I may just have to, um, rearrange, you know, some of the wires, kind of flatten them out and all that, try to make it better, but right now it looks like, look, but like I said, it looks like it's doing its job, it's firmly steadied in there, I really like it, and I do recommend trying it out, maybe it's for you, maybe it's not, but again, I think the reason they brought these out, the, the, what is the screen caddy? Yeah, you know, screen caddy is basically because you know you used to have TVs that used to have something like this, you know, flat on top, and you could place stuff on it. Well, now they got this for your flat screens, and I think it really works. So, uh, but that's all I'm going to say on it, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. But overall, the screen caddy um, screen top shelf uh, space saver, it's doing its job. Might have a little rearranging down the line, but. I think it's doing pretty good. So let me know what you guys think about it. And uh, I'll talk to you later. God bless. Take care and be safe.